So, Tim, generally, obviously, the first sort of question or once someone comes to us and they're expressing interest in, they sort of ask, you know, what, what are the next steps? Generally, they've already received a copy of the Section 32 if they've expressed some interest in it. The next thing is generally getting getting a contract of sale in place, depending yes. on what's going to be agreed. So, w- what is a contract and why do we need it? After they've looked at the Section 32, you're assuming that they've got advice on that from their conveyancer or legal rep. Uh-huh. If they're keen on the property, they've spoken to you about that, so they would be. They need to get this contract signed as quickly as possible because you've got no idea about the market and how popular this property is so you've got to submit an offer put it in writing because a contract of sale of land needs to be in writing so you can enforce it the contract will have the agreement legally binding agreement between the vendor and the purchaser yep. and it will have the sale price purchase price and uh, conditions on it yep. but you need to have it both parties need to sign as quickly as possible so it then is a locked in deal players and yep. i think that's the thing as well too is a lot of people you know often they'll say oh, i've put an offer forward or i've had an offer accepted but in a verbal sense there's always a level of commitment there but nothing's ever obviously 100 percent until it's all in in paper and signed off on both ends so obviously yeah. from a buyer's perspective and a vendor's perspective it's in everyone's best interest to sort of sign it sooner rather than later once everyone's happy with it and comfortable with it the longer that window of opportunity stays open you know so i suppose there's a bit more risk for everyone involved in it that's right so if it's not uh, you might be passionate about a property and uh, you might have told the real estate agent that you will want to buy for a certain price yeah. and uh, you think it's locked in but you haven't done the deal you haven't yeah. signed it so the agent could go to another purchaser and, and get them to sign so you've got to sign it straight away mm-hmm.